Hello and welcome to our channel. My name is Anna Lewis. I am an internationally certified master trainer and body contouring specialist. I'm also the owner and operator of Halftime Physique. We offer the best in body contouring education. Now today we're gonna to be talking all about radio frequency, but what I want you to do is hit the like and subscribe button so you can stay up to date with tips and tricks as well as trending topics in the body contouring industry. So today we're talking about radio frequency. It's mostly used in body contouring for skin tightening and fat reduction techniques. Now what happens within the radio frequency is we have a positive and negative charge which produces heat. Now when we place that on the tissue we start to heat the superficial layers of the tissue. The longer we stay on that starts to penetrate a little deeper and cause some minor damage to fatty tissue as well. The goal with radio frequency, especially in the case of skin tightening, is to heat the skin between 40 and 42 degrees Celsius. What happens when we do this is we're causing minor skin damage. Now, you can relate this similarly to microneedling or even a chemical peel. As we damage the skin superficially, we encourage it to rebuild itself and encourage those fibroblasts which stimulate collagen production. The result of this is an abundance of collagen proteins in the skin, which tends to make the skin look lifted and tighter. Now, two key components to radio frequency, whether it be for skin tightening or fat reduction, is time on tissue and the influx of temperature which we are inducing on the skin. In order for you to get the results you're looking for, you need to ensure you're hitting that 40 to 42 degrees Celsius. Now, what does this mean for time on tissue? It means that it can vary depending on skin type and texture. Some people tend to heat up faster than others. You can also incorporate other methods to reduce the time on tissue and ensure you're increasing the skin's temperature quickly and then maintaining it for the desired amount of time. Now, there is a required amount of time for skin tightening and fat reduction. These two times are very different and we cover all of that in our online masterclasses. Now, one of the most important tools that I often see missing in a radio frequency treatment is your body thermometer. Now, when you're working with high-end equipment, these thermometers will come inclusive with the handle. What they do is they ensure that you are reaching the correct temperatures to stimulate the reaction in the tissue to give you those desired results of skin tightening and or fat reduction. So how do you incorporate a body thermometer in your radio frequency treatments? You are gonna have to have this thermometer continuously in your hand. The body thermometer has two different settings, one for body temperature and one for surface temperature. It's important to note that body temperature is always going to be hotter than the surface temperature, often by one degrees, especially in the cases with radio frequency, where radio frequency is penetrating deeper and working outward to treat the skin. Once you've chosen your desired setting, you are going to need to monitor the skin continuously as you work the tissue with your radio frequency handle. Now, when you have reached the desired temperature, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you maintain it for those specific amount of times to stimulate the reaction and get your clients the best results. Now, I can't say enough how important it is for you to be measuring the temperature of your skin. This is gonna avoid a lot of risks associated with radio frequency, like the burning of the tissue, but it's also going to get you those optimal results because you're going to stay within the 40 and 42 degrees range, which is gonna help stimulate those fibroblasts, stimulate the collagen, and potentially treat that fatty tissue as well. Now, if you didn't learn about time on tissue for radio frequency and the difference between the time and skin tightening and fat reduction, or if you didn't learn about how to incorporate a body thermometer in your treatment process, then I recommend you check us out on social media at Halftime Physique or take a look at our course options on www.halftimephysique.com. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe because we're gonna be providing you with essential content to help boost your business and become the best there is as a body contouring professional.